That was a lot of liquor in a 24 hour period. <laughs> Hey, what's up folks? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm here joined by my buddies Shadow and Red from Irish Zombie Nation. We have not camped together in over a year. Been a long time. Yeah, since your birthday, right? I think so, yeah. Well, we're finally up here in the beautiful mountains of New Mexico, Santa Fe National Forest, where we're going to be camping for four days. It's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, we're hitting the booze. We're going to be doing some fishing. He's going to be doing some hammock camping, all that good stuff. EDC stuff, knives. Sadly, Cuervo Negro and Coles could not make it. Screw you, Cuervo, for not coming. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be drinking, and they're going to be with us in spirit here, just celebrating some winter camping and some St. Patrick's Day shenanigans. So thank you for joining us. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, folks, so here we have my Unigear tent. I've been using this for two years now. I like this tent, though I've heard some negative reviews from people that I trust. So I want to just hold off on the review until I have more data. But today it's going to be cold, snowy, probably going to be snowing before this adventure ends. So I am ready for that cold, and I'm not messing around. You guys know that the cold is my weakness. So I have two sleeping pads, I have two sleeping bags, I have three wool blankets, a wooby that I borrowed from Red, uh, I got an infl inflatable pillow, and I even have my wool coat over there. In case this doobie self-heating coat fails me at some point, I got Old Faithful waiting for me over there. And of course, the Hidden Woodsman pack here. That has some gear over there, another hidden woodsman pack over there, and I did bring my power station from Vatted. And uh, because I, we are camping for four days, so I do need to charge my phone for filming, my microphone, my flashlights, lanterns, all that good stuff. So I think I'm gonna be nice and snug. And this is my setup for this trip. This is all of my hammock trips. I love this setup. I've been using it for years. It's my favorite. I got the UGQ Winter Dream tarp. I think it's about 13 feet long, if I remember correctly. Multiple tie outs. I've used this tarp many times. I love it. So you come under here, and I'm using a different, I'm using a different under quilt this time. Something I just purchased. It's a one win under quilt. But anyway, under here, let's just open this up a bit. So I've got my Dream Hammock uh, Darien. I've been using this you've probably seen it in other videos with him but uh one of my favorites this is the new under quilt has some nice cinch off positions right here od green on the outside black on the inside this is uh meant for about 30 degrees and it's only going to get like 27 at night but i have multiple other layers in here this is the little pouch up here where i'm able to put my gun little organizer uh you just unzip this sucker where's the zipper there we go This is an asymmetrical hammock. Inside of here, I've got my MMS, MMSS black bag, which is meant to go down to 30 degrees or so. I might throw the green one in later, but main thing is this is the first time I've used this one wind under quilt. I'm gonna test it out tonight. So far, just the cinch off positions, the way it was easy to put on and the price point, it's like $75 for an under quilt. Yeah, this was pretty nice. So that's my setup. I've got the 
tarp set up so we're supposed to get a little bit of snow tonight and i've got the tarp set up so i'm not going to get any of that blowing in probably going to leave the doors open and there's no bugs so i don't really need to cinch up the bug net but this is my setup i've love i love it and i'm glad i'm out here winter camping in the snow and i don't need to use the towel po tie out points this is just a great hammock in general so that's my setup oh i've had a few drinks so if i slurred any words right there i apologize <laughs> So you've seen my shelter, you have seen his red hammock, and now we have Shadow and his mobile command center for the end of the world. Shadow, give us a little MTV Cribs tour. Well, you saw what the young folks sleep in. This is my rig. <clears throat> I've got various things in here. I've got my cooler, my sleeping bag, sleeping pad with a cot, <clears throat> extra batteries, propane, a Mr. Buddy heater to keep me warm. 30-30 for bear and such that may stumble into camp. And lots of stuff hanging up all around. This will be nice and warm tonight in this probably 70 degrees in here. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we just close it up and keep it warm. And now we are over here relaxing, about to have us some whiskey. Jameson for the first night. St. Patrick's Day is day after tomorrow, Sunday night. I got a new Irish whiskey none of us have ever tried. But for the first night out, since it is March and it is St. Patrick's Day, we're going with good old Jameson. We didn't bring any camping chairs. We brought kitchen chairs out here. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed that or not, but yeah, kitchen chairs. That's an influence of Shadow here where he's just like, screw it, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the kitchen chair from home. And, not putting anything together and it works out pretty well i got a kitchen sink in there too all right so we brought everything in the kitchen sink multiple bottles of whiskey yeah we're good to go all right and this is going to be what i'm using right now i don't have my haversack because i'm testing this roaring fire pack canvas pack really nice it's cuervos but i gotta test it for the review i did bring my little carabiner cup you're missing something there there you go there we go all right cheers it up fellas slancha slancha Is that a fierce fire in here? Fierce fire. Looks like beef jerky. But What's apparently, that? it's going to make this fire blaze faster. Wait, show me that label again. Fierce fire. Let me get on there. Fierce I don't think fire. they're in business anymore, so yeah. sadly. Yeah. Their stuff was great. There's been a lot of those companies, man, that have started up. Fire starting companies. Here's this little thing that will make the fire go quicker it's basically all the same crap we've been using for ages the thing is i don't think there's enough of a audience for like a bush like a dedicated bushcraft crowd yeah you have to appeal to a wider audience so you would have to sell it to academy sports or something yeah. bellas and make it a survival thing and you know oh that smoke out of my face <laughs> Fire's going. Just add a little bit more bigger stuff and we're good to go. Fred's building that white man fire now. That's right. It's an Irish how, thing. You Mexicans don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to make tortillas and shit, you know, all that other stuff, but you ain't, like, you ain't got the white man fire down. <laughs> it's going to go straight up and then 
spit down. Nice. So we started drinking pretty early and we called it a night about five hours ago. Pretty early on, we, you know, we got a buzz, we went to sleep. Now it's two in the morning, it is snowing. These guys got the fire started and ah. now they're drinking again. <laughs> Launch it. <laughs> so we're gonna just keep drinking. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful right now. It's snowing and everything, so it's time to party. And I have a couple of beers apparently that I've opened over there that i haven't touched so nice nice line of cores banquets right there waiting for james to start <laughs> drinking on we're gonna drink with the sunrise there's something very special about doing that if you've never done it go to bed early get up in the middle of the night and just start drinking again and watch the sunrise when you're just hammered and now with snow look at this yeah i don't know if it's coming yeah. through the camera no, but it is snowing probably, but it is snowing pretty heavily right now awesome yep awesome sauce <laughs> All right, so it's about, uh, what time is it? It is 4 a.m. And we're breaking out some old crow at 4 a.m. The snow has stopped. It keeps spitting a little bit. We get some heavy, and then it stops. It is uh, currently 32.6 degrees. I checked with my thermometer over there. Although around this fire, it feels more like 50. I mean, I'm not wearing any thermal anything right now. And uh, we're breaking out the old crow. This is some good old high school whiskey. This is when you don't care and you stole it from the gas station. <laughs> Because it was on the bottom <laughs> row and no one could see you dip down that low. So we're going to pour us a little bit of gold. You still got anything in there? These guys drink whiskey. Oh. I'm doing my five beer <laughs> growler. Yeah. Got you after the birthday, uh, and, right? Uh, I think I've got them beat, but, you yeah. know, that's an argument yeah. to be discussed. That's later. beer, though. There's beer in there. He ain't drinking that much whiskey right now. Yeah, we're breaking up the old pro, and James still Too got his sure. line of Coors Banquets going on. I already finished them. I, I need some whiskey. All right, well, we're going to pour you a shot. And the sun's going to come up in about three and a half hours. Hopefully, we'll all still be vertical during that time. <laughs> So Shadow and I came fishing barely a few minutes into the casting and we already got a nice sized little trout for dinner. Look at them. 
beautiful. Another one, hell yeah. All right, I reeled in three trout, so there's dinner right there. So I am back in the tent. I am, the hangover's creeping up on me, so I, I ended up puking twice. I got motion sickness with the, the drive from coming back from fishing, and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to call it a night early. I don't even want to cook the fish right now. I'll cook them tomorrow morning. So I'm just going to sleep off the rest of this uh, whiskey hangover and uh, start fresh tomorrow morning. So it is eight in the morning and I slept wonderful. I slept, I felt terrible last night. I just felt really dehydrated and nauseous and uh, I just slept it off and I thought I'd be really cold at night, but no, I slept wonderful and I feel much better now. Time to get the day going and uh, get some coffee going too. And as per usual, I'm always the last one to wake up. These fellas have already been up drinking some coffee. Morning guys. Morning, morning.
Well, folks, we already had our coffee, woke up. Now it's time to start pulling up stakes because we're gonna go camp at a different location. This area has just been absolutely beautiful. There's no people around. The snow is just gorgeous, but it's time for us to explore a new area. So other than that, I'm just gonna pack on everything. I do gotta say, I love this tent. It's been two years that I've been testing it and I have seen reviews from people that I trust that said that they had issues with leaking when it rained and stuff. I gotta say, mine has never given me that issue. And with all this snow that's been falling the last two days, I've been nice and snug and warm in here. So good stuff. I'll finally have a review on this tent pretty soon. So a few hours later and we have arrived at our second camping destination spot. This is called the Wild Rivers Recreational Area. And check out this scenery. I mean, the mountains off in the distance with the clouds, so beautiful. And then you turn this way and check out this gorge overlooking the Rio Grande River. Man, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's bring it in and uh, get a better view over here. Check that out. So beautiful. And for this time, Red is not going to be using a hammock. He's going to be doing a tarp and a cot. What's going on, everyone in the fox world? <laughs> I'm doing a cot. I don't remember what brand cot this is off the top of my head. It's one of those small compact foldable ones. Uh, it unfolds and breaks down into like one of the size of those camping chairs, a little bit larger. Uh, on top of that, I got my Thermarest uh, Ridge Rest, I believe it's called, and then the MMSS Sleep System. Well, that's what it is. Military Modular Sleep System. Gore-Tex Bivy, two different bags. This thing will go down to negative 10 and stay dry if I get snowed on tonight, which I shouldn't because I set this tarp up the direction the snow would be coming from. So hopefully I'm not gonna have any issues there. And all I did was stake it down back there. And these are green elephant poles. I highly recommend these suckers. They extend about, I don't know, nine feet or so. Uh, those are multi-purpose. I, I use them all the time, especially when I'm setting up a lean-to or an A-frame or just hammock camping and I wanna have a porch as opposed to having the tarp go all the way to the ground. Just some reflective paracord to the ground and some glow sticks so I don't run into it in the middle of the night because it's gonna be dark out here and I can see where my my shelter is when I'm drunk off this good whiskey we're gonna have later and stumble my way over here to the cot. Uh, other than that, just a kitchen chair I brought from home to sit on because I'm getting old and lazy and I don't like those little ones where it feels like you're squatting down to take a crap in the woods. So brought that sucker out and that's it. That's how I'm sleeping tonight. And check out this view. Yeah, Rio Grande Gorge that direction and Snowcap Mountains the other direction. This may just easily be the most beautiful campsite I have ever been to. It is gorgeous up here. 
no one else is around us so we just have this place to ourselves uh, but now it's time to eat so today's menu we're gonna be eating some pork chops and it is st patty's day so after the pork chops it's the whiskey it's the time to cook and the whiskey this is a new one none of us have ever tried i bought it for st patty's day it's called hot penny uh apparently it used to cost half a penny to take a trolley or something i don't know the whole story on it but none of us have tried this so we're all going to give it a shot as soon as we're done eating Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and then you can power it up, Shadow, so we can put yours in there. Yeah. I, I, I'll, uh, I'm gonna finish my beer first. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, folks, it is chow time. Red and I got ourselves a pork chop. I did heat up a jalapeno as well, and I'm gonna wash it down with a beer. I ran out of my Coors Banquet, so I am drinking a little bit of Shadow's uh, Miller Lights before the shenanigans ensue. Tricky business balancing this. There's a table right behind you you could use. <laughs> Leave that in the video, that's funny. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Good stuff. All right, everybody, it is St. Patty's Day 2024. We're standing right at the edge, way too close for my comfort, to the edge of the Rio Grande Gorge. And being that it is St. Patty's Day, showed you earlier, dun, 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 we got the hot penny. None of us have ever tried this except for me because I started right before them, but they got their cups. You want to pop that for me? You betcha. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of this. 
I already have my opinion. We'll find out theirs here in a second. Tilt this way for me a little bit. There we go. I don't want to spill. All right. Now, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we're going to do a little toast. This is an old Irish toast. You ready for it? All right. May you never forget the things you should remember, and may you never remember the things you should forget. Slancha. Slancha, boys. Slancha. Great camping trip. Yeah. Oh. Holy sh... Yeah, uh, Hot Penny, what's your opinion? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I had to wee bit of the dragon. Yeah. Uh, I drink a lot of whiskey, and I drink a lot of Irish whiskey. This, from the first taste, sucks. <laughs> I'll try more, and maybe the more I drink, the better it'll taste. But uh, anyway, Saint, happy St. Patrick's Day from Fox, Red, Shadow. Cheers, everyone. Slanche. Cheers. Slanche. Slanche. There's a really nice camping spot down here. It's quite a ways off. You're probably a thousand feet up. <laughs> but it's a windy path that comes all the way back. Be careful, man. And there's an entrance to the trailhead just down about half a mile. And you can camp down there right next to the uh, Rio Grande. Beautiful. Yeah. And we're right on the edge of a cliff, and I'm getting away from it. <laughs> right about a thousand feet. <laughs> Starting to get a little chilly, so we're getting that fire going. And yeah, good stuff. Yeah, you know, sometimes just the the fact that there is a fire <clears throat> and you're seeing it visually warms you up. Yeah, it's comforting. Oh it, yeah. It is. Well, folks, we had a great time, but it is now time to call it a night. It is getting cold. I could see my breath. I don't know if the... I don't know if the uh, camera can pick it up, but it is getting pretty damn cold. It's going to drop to like 16 or 17 degrees tonight. So uh, I'm switching my socks to some wool ones. And time to call it a bed. Call it a night after that. So we had our morning coffee. Last night was pretty cold, but um, but yeah, today's today's a nice warm day. We're gonna head into the town and grab a bite to eat at a restaurant, gather a couple of supplies, and make our way back to camp. Chow time. What we have here is the uh, confluence of the two rivers. On the left, you have the Red River, and on the right is the Rio Grande. And at the point you see there, uh, they come together and continue on as the Rio Grande. And uh, this is the Rio Grande Gorge. Man, it's beautiful.
So it's the evening of the third day, our last night to party before we pick up steaks tomorrow and head out. So having some drinks before we get dinner going. In the meantime, Red here has something to show you all. I'm gonna show you all a little bushcraft magic trick that I learned. What you need is any object for this purpose. I'm going to use a propane cap. Now watch the propane cap carefully, all right? Got my Junkyard Fox bandana from 2017, the old school. All right, there's a propane cap. You watching? You ready? All right. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> this is a 1964 Winchester, model 94 and 3030 Winchester. Good mountain gun. And I like to use it on people that have crappy bushcraft magic tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently Dot's pretzels attract bluebirds. Yeah, I wonder if they're seasoned mustard ones. Awesome. Here, another one. Look. Okay, Wander, you gotta eat that one first. Uh, nope, nope, he's gonna get both of them. Yep, he's oh, he's oh, oh. <laughs> All right, gonna try to cook these fish in a way that I'm not used to. I'm not really a foil using guy, but for the sake of changing things up, let's try this out. So of course we're gonna put some olive oil on there. Some green chili seasoning. Some Creole. Can you hear the sizzle? Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Close? Okay, here, come here. Here, okay, I'll throw it down here, look. One, two. There he goes. <laughs> Doc's honey mustard pretzels. So if anyone wants to be friends with a bluebird, that's what you need. <laughs> Give that a shot, Mexican bluebird. You want some salsa? Where'd he go? I think so. He's coming back. Look, he is a Mexican bluebird. He didn't even go away this time. He just came back for another one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've been cooking the trout 15 minutes on each side. We're going to check if it's ready now. Let's take a look. Dear God, that's like flaking off. It looks like it's done to me. Yeah. I don't know anything about fish, but that looks done to me. <laughs> Good to go. Oh, that steam. Moment of truth. Let's get a piece here. Nice and flaky. We're good to go. Hell yeah. You liking the foil? Yeah. Right on? Yeah, I need a little bit more practice to kind of Tighten up my recipe, but pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just coming apart. That's it, Bob. That's it, buddy. No more, man. You jacked what was left on the table over here while we were filming part of Fox's video, so you're done.
Well, folks, the sun is setting on the final day of winter. So I just pointed out, I looked on, I even used my phone to look and make sure, uh, that is Jupiter up there. I've never seen Jupiter with the naked eye that bright in the sky before on the last day of winter. Flannel. It was in your flannel last time I saw you with it. Well, folks, good morning to the first day of spring. Got some coffee going, and now time to cook up some steaks and then start pulling it on up to head on home. Steak and mashed potatoes for breakfast. Mm-hmm.
though. I gotta have tortilla, James. This is good stuff. All right, everybody, we are packed up. The truck is loaded. The trailer's loaded. We got nothing left to do except say goodbye. James, I love your brother. Shadow, I love you. This has been an awesome trip. Yes, it has. Excellent end of winter adventure and the start of springtime. Beautiful area, beautiful scenery, beautiful friends, and great food, all that good stuff. Of course, the hooch as well. <laughs> and now we're ready to start making that 400-mile journey back on home. So thank you for joining us. As always, we appreciate every single one of you, all the likes, all the comments, all the love and encouragement. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this adventure. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. And we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. <laughs>